Okay, now that we've gone through the course materials, text, and software, as we move through what's required in Module 1, the last three things that are required activities before you work on your submissions are the semester schedule at a glance, what can you create in Photoshop, it's a video that will play, and the efficient, work show, uh, efficient workflow tips in Photoshop. If you click on semester schedule at a glance, It will open up a page that has uh, PNG files of a calendar that I made. This is the calendar that I print and put outside of South City Campus Room 1-165 every semester so that you can follow along and literally check things off as you do them. It gives an indication of when you should be doing something in addition to when it's due. And so if we take a look, if I zoom in here, and we take a look at the first week of the semester for this particular term, which happens to be summer 2017, you can see that on Monday and Tuesday of the first week of the semester, you really need to knock out everything in Module 1 and get it done. It's not technically due until Saturday, because during this semester, I'm going to have things due on Saturdays. Uh, you have until the 20th, so you have until Saturday the 20th to finish it, but you shouldn't wait until Saturday the 20th because you also have chapters 1, 2, and 3 done uh, due on the 20th. And you can see that I also recommend doing chapter 1 on Monday and Tuesday of the week, do chapter 2 on Wednesday and Thursday, and then chapter 3 on Friday and Saturday. For the first week of the semester, the reason everything's due on Saturday is because if I made it due on Monday, um, half of you wouldn't have logged in by Monday, and some of you won't even have registered for the class by Thursday. Um, I do apologize to anybody who has a class late. Everything is due on the dates posted, and you need to do everything in your power to get caught up, or you're just going to fall further behind. Because if you look at the following week, we're going to do chapters 4, 5, and 6 by Wednesday. Now it's a little atypical because this is a summer semester and so you only have 12 weeks instead of 16 or 17 during a normal semester, um, but you'll find that chapters 1 through 6 mo are mostly knowledge based, there's not a lot of actual Photoshop in them, and so you should be able to read the chapter and answer the knowledge test fairly quickly. And so even if you sat down and did chapters 1 through 6 nonstop, you should be able to get them done in, I would say, an hour per chapter. In addition to the visual schedule, if you scroll to the bottom, let me zoom out here, uh, you can print your own digital copy, whoops, if you want to print your schedule at home. And so you can download it, it will open in Acrobat, and then you can go ahead and you can print as many copies as you need. I will not change due dates on this calendar once it's posted and once you print them or once I print them and put them outside of the 1-165 classroom. The due dates are set in stone. And if something comes up and um, class gets canceled or something like that, the due dates are still set. We'll just find a way to work around um, any uh, inconveniences that may happen throughout the semester. So I've talked about three ways that you can know when things are due. And the first is that I'll send out an announcement at the beginning of the week and say this is what we're working on this week and this is what I recommend doing on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Um, in addition, if you click on the Syllabus tab and scroll to the bottom, it'll have a running list of everything that's due and when it is due. You can also print a semester schedule. And then last but not least, the fourth way that you can remember when things are due is I've literally posted their due dates on the visual homepage. And so you can see that everything from Module 1 is due on May 20th. And if we scroll down to Module 2, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 are due on May 20th. And Chapters 4, 5, and 6 are all due on the 24th. These dates will coincide with the semester calendar, and so pick an option. Pick the way that you feel is easiest to remember when things are due and make sure that you don't fall behind. One of the number one questions that I'll get in this class is, can I work ahead? Absolutely. I would encourage you to work ahead. I would encourage you to fly through the first six chapters since they're all knowledge-based, and I would encourage you not to fall behind because students who fall behind in in great numbers do not pass the class. It's it's not a ton of work in the Photoshop class, but it comes quickly and it goes by fast. And if you fall behind, it's hard to get, like swim back to the surface and get caught up with everybody else. And so when in doubt, work ahead. If you know that you're going to miss a week of the semester, which for some reason I get a lot at Salt Lake Community College. This is the fifth college I've taught at. And by far, I get the most emails from students saying, by the way, I'm going to miss the first two weeks of the semester as if you had no idea that the semester started on a particular day. 
I, as an online teacher, don't care if you're present or not, but you need to get your work done. And if you don't get your work done, I have to give you a zero. And so if you know that you and your family are going on vacation, you know, the fifth week of the semester and you're going to be gone for two weeks, work ahead, get weeks five and six done before you leave for that vacation. Okay, the last two things I want you to do in module one are to watch these two videos. And because of licensing reasons, I can't play them. They are from Adobe.com. And the first one, it just shows you cool stuff that you could do in Photoshop. Just watch it and kind of see, oh yeah, that looks really cool and, and absorb it. The second one has some efficient workflow tips, which is probably more advanced than you are right now. But you don't have to memorize this video. Just watch it and kind of say, oh, that's kind of cool. And make note of the things that you want to be able to do that you can't do right now. We will cover most of the things in that video again later in the semester. And then at the end of the semester, I'll encourage you to go back and watch that video again just to see how many of the things you can do now that at the beginning of the semester you didn't think were possible. When you were done, the only two things that require submissions for Module 1 are the initial response and the profile picture. I would like you to add a profile picture. You can add a profile picture by clicking on your account in the top left-hand corner. When you get to that other page, which I can't click on because I'm in student view, uh, you're going to click on the little circle cartoon guy and you can upload a picture. I would like you to figure out how to upload a picture and if you're having trouble you need to email the help desk or you need to call them at 801-957-5555 for help. It's nominal, meaning that the points are not worth a lot. I think it's worth five points, but it means a lot to me as your online teacher to be able to recognize who you are. So I want your picture to be of you and not a cartoon. I want it to be just you, a close-up, so that when I see your picture, I can say, oh, that's what that person looks like. In addition to that, there's an initial response activity. If you're confused, if you don't know what's going on, if after watching these videos you still feel apprehensive about the online class, the initial response is where you can ask questions. And so for the initial response, I either want you to say, I am comfortable with the navigation of this class and I'm ready to go, or I want you to say, I am confused and I don't, I don't know how we're going to submit coursework. How, how, you didn't explain that in any of your videos. If that frightens you and you need to know right now how to submit your coursework, then Put that in the initial response and I'm happy to respond to it and I will check that multiple times per day for the first two weeks of the semester so that if you have any questions you should get a very quick response from me. If you want to in addition to the initial response you can send me an email through Canvas but you still need to submit the initial response because it's graded. Okay I'm going to wrap up this getting started with this video so if you have any additional questions let me know via email. You can message me through the initial response activity or you can email me directly at the email address listed on the course syllabus.